Danbad is a city in the Indian state of Jharkhand. It is the second most populated city in Jharkhand. Danbad along with its adjacent urban areas ranks 42nd in population amongst other cities in India. It has been ranked 94th as per Ease of Living Index rankings. Danbad shares its land borders with Asansal, West Bengal. Danbad has some of the largest coal mines in India and is called Coal Capital of India. Tata Steel, Bharat Coking Coal Limited BCCL, Eastern Coalfields Limited ECL, and Indian Iron and Steel Company IISCO are some of the companies who operate coal mines in the district. The Engineering Institute IIT ISM, Danbad is located in Danbad. Among the rail divisions of Indian Railway, Danbad Rail Division is the second largest in revenue generation after the Mumbai Division. The city has one parliamentary seat and six seats in the Legislative Assembly. Etymology The most popular theory of origin of the name Danbad is that it is derived from Don Dana and Abad, Abada meaning, "...prospered with wealth", due to being a mineral-rich region. Historically the name of Danbad was Donbade which seems to have been derived from the word Don paddy and Bade, i.e., the paddy land. Danbad is a paddy land, rich of minerals and also it has the largest rice growing farm in Jharkhand. History The present district used to be a part of Manbam region and was occupied by Mundari or Kolarian races in the wilderness of south undivided Bihar. In the 7th century AD some information is available from the account of the travels of Hyun Sang. These accounts narrate existence of a powerful kingdom which comprised the district and adjoining areas, ruled by Sasanka. Manbam was one of the districts of the East India during the British Raj. The region has thick forests, with rich mineral resources, and had a mixed demographic profile with people from different religious and social groups, including Adivasis, particularly the Santals and the Mundas before the city was established. After India's independence, the district became a part of Bihar state, and upon reorganization of the Indian states in the mid-1950s, the district became a part of the West Bengal. Present Perulia district was carved out of the district of Manbam. In the settlement report for Manbam 1928, it was stated that no rock inscriptions, copper plates or old coins were discovered and not a single document of copper plate or palm leaf was found, during the survey and settlement operations. The oldest authentic documents produced were all on paper and barely even a hundred years old. Danbad city was in Manbam district from 1928 up to 1956. However, on 24 October 1956, Danbad was declared a district on the recommendation of the state's Reorganization Commission v Notification 1911. This was done under the strong commitment and leadership from a renowned journalist Mr. Satish Chandra. In the year 2006, Danbad celebrated 50 years of being an independent district and city. From 1956 to 14 November 2000 it was under Bihar. At present it is in Jharkhand. After the creation of state on 15 November 2000, Govindpur block in Danbad was a historical place before 1908. This was a Numandal office during British Empire. In 21st century discovery of rich deposits of coal in the region caused the city to flourish with wealth but also bought notorious coal mafia and gang wars which continues to this day with areas of city like Wasipur being most affected by the conflict. Geography and climate Danbad has an average elevation of 227 metres 745 feet. Its geographical length extending from north to south is 15 miles 24 kilometers and the breadth stretching across east to west is 10 miles 16 kilometers. It shares its boundaries with West Bengal in the eastern and southern part, Dumka and Garida in the north and Bikara in the west. Danbad comes under the Chota Nagpur Plateau. Danbad features climate that is transitional between a humid subtropical climate and a tropical wet and dry climate. Summer starts from last week of March and ends in mid-June. Peak temperature in summer can reach 48 degrees Celsius. Danbad also receives heavy rainfall. In winter, the minimum temperature remains around 10 degrees Celsius with a maximum of 22 degrees Celsius. Damodar River is the main river flowing through the district. 
Katri, Jamunia, Gobai, Kudia and Urji are the other rivers flowing through the district. Demography As of 2011 census, Danbad city had a population of 1,162,472. Males 614,722 constitute 53% of the population and females 547,750 47%. It has a sex ratio of 891. Danbid has an average literacy rate of 79.47%, higher than the national average of 74.04%, male literacy is 86.14% and female literacy is 71.96%. In Danbid, 10.57% of the population is under 5 years of age. Religion Hinduism is the dominant religion with over 81% adherents. The minority religions are Islam, Sikhism and Christianity. Civic administration Danbid is the headquarters of the district and also the headquarters of DMC Danbid Municipal Corporation. DMC was formed as per the state government notification dated 2 January 06 with merger of areas Jaria NAC, Sindri, NAC, Chatanda NAC, Katras NAC. Danbid City elects one member of parliament. Also some part of the district comes under Garida seat of Lok Sabha. There are six legislative assembly seats, they are Sindri, Bagmara, Danbid, Jaria, Nursa, Tundi. Danbid has District Court and Labor Court Industrial Tribunal. Along with Mumbai, Danbid is the only city having two Labor Court Industrial Tribunals. Mineral Area Development Authority looks after the development of the district. Economy <inaudible> 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 Danbid is the largest city by population and second largest urban agglomeration in Jharkhand after Jamshedpur. Danbid is famous for its coal mines and industrial establishments. The city is surrounded by about 112 coal mines with a total production of 27.5 million tons and an annual income of 7000 million rupees through coal business. There are a number of coal washeries present there. Though managed by a municipal corporation, Danbid was listed the least clean of all according to the latest Swachh Sarvekshan of 73 Indian cities in 2016. Indian Institute of Technology Indian School of Mines, IIT, ISM, launched Total Waste Solution, or Tawaso, a waste management startup. Taking note of the rising pollution in the coal city, the Municipal Corporation of Danbid MCD, is planning to plant trees which can absorb toxic gases from the atmosphere. Topic government and PSU organizations Danbid, being the coal capital of India, has several PSUs related to mining and coal. Bharat Coking Coal Limited, BCCL is a public sector undertaking subsidiary of Coal India Limited engaged in mining of coal and allied activities. BCCL meets almost 50% of the total prime coking coal requirement of the integrated steel sector. BCCL was incorporated in January, 1972 to operate coking coal mines operating in the Jaria and Raniganj coalfields, taken over by the GOVT, of India on 16 October 1971 to ensure planned development of the scarce coking coal resources in the country. CIMFR, Barwa Road Campus CMRI, the Central Institute of Mining and Fuel Research CIMFR Danbid, is a constituent laboratory of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR was aimed to provide R&D inputs for the entire coal energy chain from mining to consumption through integration of the core competencies of the two CFRI and CMRI premier coal institutions of the country. CIMFR, Digwadi Campus, erstwhile CFRI CMPF, Coal Mines Provident Fund Organization. CCWO, Central Coal Washery Organization, unit of BCCL is situated at Soriela, which looks after the works of all coal washeries of Bharat Coking Coal Limited. DGMS, the Directorate General of Mines Safety is the Indian Government Regulatory Agency for Safety in Mines and Oil Fields is located at Sardar Patel Nagar in heart of the city.
Topic: Education. Topic: Universities and colleges. Indian Institute of Technology, Indian School of Mines, Danbad, was started by the British in 1926. Bursa Institute of Technology, Sindri is a government engineering college in Jharkhand. SSLNT Women's College is one of the oldest women's science and art college in East India established in 1956. Patliputra Medical College and Hospital is located in the city as are many other colleges. Law College Danbad was established in 1976. Guru Nanak College Raja Shiva Prasad College Topic. Schools Carmel School Digwadi DAV Public School, Koila Nagar DAV Public School, Mahuda Delhi Public School, Danbad De Nobili School, CMRI De Nobili School, Buli De Nobili School, Fry Kendriya Vidyalaya Tata DAV School, Jamadobajarkhand Chief Minister Ragubar Das announced the setting up of a university in Danbad named after Bainad Bihari Mato. The new university is also expected to serve the higher education needs of students of Bikara and Garita. Vinoba Bhavi University VBU has zeroed in on vacant land inside the premises of R.S. Moore College in Govindpur, Danbad, for setting up of the proposed Vinod Bihari Mato Koilankal University. Politics Danbad city and district is considered a BJP stronghold with majority of its MPs MLAs being of the party since the 1990s. Chandra Shikhar Agrawal of BJP is the mayor, otherwise known as the first citizen, of Danbad Municipal Corporation. He won by the margin of 42,525 votes. Raj Sinha of BJP won in the 40 Danbad Assembly constituency, defeating Manan Malik of Congress in 2014. Pashapati Nath Singh of BJP defeated Manan Malik of Congress in 2005, Prasadi Sao of RJD in 2000, and Ramadar Yadav of JD in 1995. Surendra Prasad Roy of Congress defeated SK. Shriva of JD in 1990 and Ram Chander Singh of Janata Party in 1985. Yogeshwar Prasad Yogesh of Congress defeated Gopi Kant Bakshi of CPI -M in 1980 and Kalawati Devi of Janata Party. Danbad Assembly constituency is part of Danbad Lok Sabha constituency. <laughs> <laughs> Members of Parliament for Danbad Topic Transport Topic Rail Danbad has a very good rail connectivity with the other major parts of the country such as Delhi, Mumbai, Patna, Kolkata, Bagalpur, Munger, Gaya, Chennai, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, Kochi, Indore, Bhopal, Gwalior, Jebalpur, Jaipur, Visakhapatnam Jodhpur, Nagpur, Pune, Varanasi, Guwahati etc. Danbad Rail Division comes under East Central Railway Zone. Grand Cord Rail Line passes through Danbad Junction, it connects Howrah and New Delhi. CIC Rail Line starts from Danbad and ends at Singrauli in Madhya Pradesh. There is one more rail line passing through the district, it starts at Karagpur and ends at Gomo, this rail line comes under South Eastern Railway. Danbad is connected with almost all states through rail network. Each and every train through this has a stop at Danbad, other than the Sealda New Delhi and Howrah New Delhi Duranta EXP, which also has a technical halt, but not to be used for commercial purposes. On 1 October 2011, India's first AC double-decker train was flagged off to connect Howrah and Danbad. With this India joins the League of Europe and North America that run multi-deck trains. As of October 2011, the train runs daily except Sunday, departing from Howrah at 8.30 a.m. to arrive at Danbad at 12.45 p.m., and on return trip it departs Danbad at 6.30 p.m. to arrive at Howrah at 10.40 p.m. It has a maximum permissible speed of 110 km 68 miles per hour with stops at Bardaman, Durgapur, Asansal, Barakar and Kumardubi on both legs of the route. 
This new AC design has several features namely stainless steel body, high-speed Eurofema design bogies with air springs and other safety features. Roads National Highway 2 and National Highway 32 are the major highways passing through Danbud. NH2 is part of Golden Quadrilateral GQ highway network. Danbud lies in Kolkata Delhi link of the Golden Quadrilateral network. NH2 is being converted into six lane expressway. NH32 connects Danbud to Bikara Jamshedpur. Private and state buses are available for intercity traveling. Air Danbud Airport is used for private small aircraft and helicopters. Currently, there is no public air link at the airport. The nearest public airports to Danbud are Kazi Nazrul Islam Airport, Asansal Durgapur, 85 km, 53 miles. Bursa Munda Airport, Ranchi, 140 km, 87 miles. Gaia Airport 207 km 129 miles Nataji Subhas Chandra Bose International Airport Kolkata 269 km 167 miles Lok Nayak Jayaprakash Airport Patna 271 km 168 miles Topic Sports Cricket is the most popular sport in Danbud, followed by football. Danbud is one of the centres where 34th National Games was organised. Cricket stadiums at present are at Tata Steel Stadium Digwadi, Nehru Stadium Jelgora and Railway Stadium where Ranji Trophy matches are organised. Women's international cricket were also played at Railway Stadium. Football matches of national level were played at Railway Stadium but now it is converted into Cricket Stadium by the Railway Management and Sijua Stadium. For the preparation of Mission Olympic 2020 and 2024, the Danbid District Olympic Games Association is working day and night. Danbid officially became the second town in the state to boast a cricket stadium with floodlights, with the inauguration of floodlights at Tata Digwadi Stadium. Media Hindi newspapers are mainly published from the city, among them Hindustan Dainik is the most popular, followed by Prabhat Kabar, Dainik Jagran and Dainik Bhaskar. Danbid Bikara Live is published from Danbid. Durdarshan Relay Station is present in Danbid near Koila Nagar. There are some local news channels in the city such as, Antarkatha which are creative media houses which broadcast on local cable on Danbid, Jaria, Bikara, Chatra, Hazaribagh, Koderma, Ramgar etc. FM radio is available as Vivi Bharti service of All India Radio at 101.8 MHz. Topic: Rivers. The Damodar is the most important river of the Chota Nagpur Plateau. It rises in Palamu and flows eastward between the plateaus of Ranchi and Hazaribagh. It is joined by the Bikara, the Konar, and the Barakar rivers. The Damodar enters Danbad district at its confluence with the Jamaria, a stream which marks the western boundary of Danbad with Hazaribha district. Further east, the Damodar is joined by the Katri River which rises in the foothills below Parasnath and traverses through the coalfield area. The Damodar flows for about 77 km, through the district being joined by the Barakar at its eastern border near Cherkunda. The Panchet Dam extending to roughly 6 km is built on River Damodar. The Heidel station there generates 40,000 kW per hour The Barakar, which forms the northern boundary of the district, traverses about 77 km. In the district. It flows in southwesterly direction up to Durgapur and then south till it joins the Damodar near Cherkuta. The Maithan Dam is located on this river about 13 km off its confluence with the Damodar. Attached to it is the Mathan power station with a generating capacity of 60,000 kWh. Among other small rivers in the district are Gobai, the Ijri, and the Kudia besides the river Katri. 
Topic people from Danbad Anurag Dixit, born in Danbad, ranked 207th richest person in the world by Forbes in 2006 Devon Sharma, former global president of Standard & Poor's Meenakshi Sashadri, Bollywood actress Mayong Chong, Bollywood actor Zaishan Quadri, Bollywood actor, filmmaker Madrima Thule, Bollywood and South Indian actress Shiv Kara, author and professional speaker Randir Prasad Verma, Indian police officer Sambit Patra, national spokesperson, BJP.